All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Akakadash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High, God, Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He exists, He is, He is to be. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the savior. He is the deliverer. Bahashem in the name. Uh, Raka Kadash is the spirit holy or the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, the brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And uh, Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be listening, tuning in, studying under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the spirit and power uh, from, the, uh, uh, from the gospel from, from the Lord that was sent to our apostles from Great Millstone. Uh, we just two brothers from the GMS Boston camp. I'm the brother Taz of War. And we're back here with a quick lesson. We have a picture on the screen. It's, you know, faith. And this is the most important thing to have in these latter days. Uh, when all hell breaks loose, total chaos, destruction, uh, the Lord sending plagues on the earth, the famine, death, destruction, the sword. Uh, the only thing that's going to deliver us is our faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. And uh, we're going to be put into uh, uh, tough uh, situations, you know, we're going to go through tribulation and, uh, and, uh, and all type of uh, evil times, bad, bad times, but we have to have that trust and faith, you know, that knowledge and wisdom and understanding is going to keep us st st uh, stable in these latter days, you know, when you read into the Bible, the accounts of, like lately I was reading, you know, Daniel, the third chapter, which is about the three holy children being put into the furnace for not bowing down to the, um, the to the yeah to the statue of uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, you know that's kind of uh, 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 symbolic to what we're gonna have to go through in this time, you know, because Esau Edom is the is the Nebuchadnezzar of of of, of, this, of time. this time of this Babylon and Esau. We're talking about the elites, you know, the 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 global elitists, the so-called Illuminati, the Rothschilds. They have an agenda to push. You know the new world agenda and pretty much have everybody microchip so people are going to be faced with a predicament or a choice to make either you take that rfid microchip which is the mark of the beast and you, you save your your life for that moment to eat and survive or you don't take that chip and you may be uh, uh, receive uh, consequences, whether it be put into death, put brought into prison. And, you know, we use this accounts like, again, the three holy children not bowing down to that image because they trust in the Lord. And then, you know, they were put into a fiery furnace, but through their faith, they uh, they survived. You know, and, and, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, fought for them and, and saved them and delivered them. And this is what the lesson we're going to go through. You know, we're just going to move through the spirit. But uh, we're just going to have to be faced at this time with that persecution, with a choice, that hour of temptation. But we're going to have to rely on our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Ultimately, the fear of the Lord and faith in Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let's go, let's go to Hebrews 11, chapter, the first verse. Let's bring it up. Uh, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. That's right. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Yeah, faith is the. Read that again, bro. Read on um, verse uh, one. He was a land verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's right. The evidence of things not yeah, seen. Yeah, faith is the evidence of things hoped for. We hope for a salvation. We pray and hope for a new heaven and new earth that dwelleth in righteousness. And we haven't seen our Lord and Savior uh, uh, physically, but through His miracles and signs and wonders, we know there's a Lord. We know there's a, a higher power. We know in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, and we believe and have faith that in our time of trouble, in our path that we're going to be uh, embarking on, we have faith that the Lord is is going to hold us down. He's going to protect us. You know, He's going to hold up His end of the bargain. You know, at His end of the covenant. Yeah. You know, and and this is how important faith is. You know, when all hell breaks loose, your money, your guns, your ammunition. Your, your, your popularity, your cars ain't going to be able to deliver you. It's your faith. And if you don't have faith, it says that in verse 6, man. But, well, faith, if you don't have faith, you're pretty much uh, 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 a, dead, a dead man walking. I call him verse 6. But without faith, 
it is impossible to please him that's right for he that cometh to the most high yahweh must believe that he is that's right and that is a reward of them that diligent and sick that's right so without faith it's impossible to please yahweh you know you got to believe that he is he exists that's his name yahweh he is you know he you have to believe that he exists you know there's a higher power and again there's accounts of the lord uh showing his his servants, the prophets, putting them in a tough situation, but because their faith and and, and, and being diligent to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, He delivered them out of their trials and tribulations. And this is what we're gonna go into, man. You know, the faith is more important than anything else in this world. Uh, faith is actually finding the uh, the golden treasure, like in Indiana Jones or any, uh, let's say, the Uncharted uh, game series. You know, so on and so forth. Man, faith is this. This is uh, is a treasure. You know. Yeah. Pretty much faith is like the glow. Your house is the foundation, right? Your faith right. is the glow that glows to your house, you know what I'm saying? Because once you lose the faith, guess what? You're out of here, you know what I'm saying? That's so right. faith is like the the key ingredient in this thing of ours, you know? That's right, because we know that, you know, we've been prophesying that, you know, Esau has nothing but a, uh, he has but a short time. You know, he's going to come down with that wrath. He's going to come down with the sword, military troops, putting people uh, into, it's taking them out of their houses, putting them into uh, FEMA camps, or even just straight killing them on uh, in, in their streets or in their, in their houses. It's going to be a, a time of trouble like no other, as according to Jeremiah 30 and 7. And Daniel 12 and 1 you know so we're gonna have to rely and trust in the Lord to fight for our uh, for us and and to uh, protect us and I got Ecclesiasticus 4 verse 28 strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee yeah strive for the truth unto death and the Lord Yahweh Hashem shall fight for thee and pretty much that's exactly what it is that's an uh, exhortation from Yahweh Hashem no matter what the circumstances we're gonna be into, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be into that situation, so we have to trust in the Lord, man. The Lord got us, He got our back, man. The scripture says, uh, Whom did ever despise that call upon Him? So, up, as bro. long as you uh, maintain the faith, you keep your trust in Yahweh, you're all good, you know? You have That's nothing right. to worry about. You know? Yeah, because the times that are, are barking and uh, embarking in, in, in front of us that's coming ahead is gonna be times of trouble, man. Evil days, man. That's why the scripture says, uh, be circumspect because the days are evil, you know. And uh, we're going to go through tribulation before the kingdom of heaven is established. And I got that real quick. Acts 14, Salakia. Acts 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to, to continue in the faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter through the kingdom of heaven. You know, so we still have to trust in the Lord and have faith in the Lord through our times of tribulation that hey, we, we have to uh, have faith that the Lord is going to show uh, protect us and, 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 and give us a way out, man. You know, and before we can enter into the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have to go through them tough times, tribulation, uh, peril times, uh, 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 evil days, you know. Uh, famines, pestilence, but the Lord, you know, he he already has a covenant with his his chosen, man. You know, when the famine and pestilence come, you know, he already said that he's going to have his servants protected, laughing in that day, eating in that day, drinking in that day, you know, and two thirds of our people, you know, those are the undesirables that don't want to seek the Lord. They want to, you know, trust into the government. They're pretty much going to fall into the snares of these devils. Hey, they're going to uh, be in uh, a deep state of mourning. A deep state of anguish, a deep state of 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 of, 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 of treachery. Huh? Matter of fact, this is a definition for tribulation, a cause of great trouble or suffering. Mm -hmm. And the words are trouble, worry, anxiety, burden, affliction, That's right. trial, adversity, hardship, tragedy, or trauma. You know what I'm saying? So uh, none of those are good times. That's right. You want to speak on it, bro? No, that's exactly what it is. Or the scripture cl uh, clearly described the day of the Lord as a, a day of darkness and gloominess, and a light. day of trouble and thick darkness. So pretty much all hell is about to break loose. And our message is pretty much uh, seek the Lord, Yahweh while, while, you may be found. while you may be found. You know what I'm saying? Because like uh, the only way out of here is pretty much to Yahweh you know, to repentance, coming back to the Lord, you know, seeking ten times more. That's right. The scripture says, uh, as it was in your mind for you to go straight, being returned, seeking ten Sometimes times more, more, man. So your only way out here through your house, I mean, the Lord put us in the condition that we have no other option but Him. Man. That's right. You know? He's and the one that put, Salake, mm -hmm. Salake. He's the one that put us in the situation, and He's the only one that could take us out, you know, out of that situation. Mm -hmm. And it's, you have to have faith, man, because without faith, you're gonna not and never be taken out that situation. You're gonna feel that that tribulation. You're gonna feel that uh, anguish, that tough times, hardships. You know, and without that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you're gonna fold. 
mm. you're going to pretty much uh, 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 be put to death because you don't have faith, man. And that's a lot of our people, man. The two thirds of our people don't have faith, man. They don't trust in a higher power. They think that they can you know, deliver them way their 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 way out through their own uh, uh, craftiness, their own vain thoughts and opinion. But it's only going to lead to death, man, mm. and death by pain, as the scripture says, man. Yeah, come on. Yeah, uh, you got some. Uh, yeah, I got some. Uh, Jeremiah thirty verse four, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Mm. As she now and see whether a man doth travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. A voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace, and that's exactly what the day of Yahweh by Shemeshai tells man. You know, anxiety, distress. Uh, 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 anguish. Time, anguish A time like no other Since there was a nation A time such as Never was Since there was a nation And that's exactly What Jacob Shobo Is the Lord described Pretty much uh, 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 Pretty much The Lord Pretty much uh, Set up Jacob Shobo As a way to cleanse Pretty much to purge His beef His nation you know? right. Let me get verse 7 Alas For that day is great So that none is like it It is even the time Of Jacob's trouble But he shall be saved Out of it Yeah the He that shall be saved Out of it Is who man The elect those that was predestinated since the foundation of the earth to receive mercy, and yeah. that those are the ones that's gonna be covered under the the banner of the wings of Yahweh Meshai when all hell close, man. What Ezekiel 9 and 4. So when the angel let loose of the four wings, guess what? The only uh, uh soul that gonna, that's gonna be covered is what is the elect. Yeah, those that have that mark. Mm -hmm. Like again, this brother mentioned Ezekiel 9 and 4. That's the uh, uh the wah, which means exemption from judgment, man. That that mark is a spiritual mark. He's gonna the Lord's gonna have his angels pretty much have a charge over. Over thee and protect thee under their wings, you know. And 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 this is what this is the times that we're heading. And that Jacob's trouble. This is a judgment that's uh, set for you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. For for pretty much either to see who is the Lord's chosen. Either you're gonna be put through that gold and and, and through that fire, and then mm. gold comes out, or you're gonna be put through that fire, and you're gonna be just pretty much turn it to dust mm. or destroyed and and that's why we give this warning you know and faith is the only option you know mm. when that famine hits when it's a food strike when it's when it's a uh, civil war when it's martial law in the streets again your your weapons your your money your car your popularity is not going to deliver you in them times man yeah, yeah. it's your faith in the lord you know i got um real quick what is it job five and i'll start at verse um uh, 19 He shall deliver thee in six troubles Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee What's it said, bro? It's seven nah, that's, that's, that's the point right there Real uh. quick, bro Let me read it again uh, Job 5, uh, verse 19 He shall deliver thee in six troubles Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee you know, and that six troubles is talking about all the hell, the uh, uh, tribulation, the Jacob's trouble. But that seventh trouble is ultimately them thermonuclear missiles. And it says, no evil shall touch thee. So that just proves that the Lord is going to protect those that are predestined to be, who have received that, 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 that mark, uh, the exemption from judgment. Verse 20, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. You know, so that just proves when famine comes, hey, the Lord is going to protect you from the famine in that sword. He's going to redeem you from death. You can get that real quick. Was that uh, Isaiah 65 and uh, 12 and 13 and 14? Because, you know, we've been prophesying there's also going to be famines here, a lack of food, scarce amount of food, and people are going to be uh, have their ribs touching. They're going to have no type of food that even in the Bible has been prophesied that people are going to eat their own children, eat their own flesh, just like they did in ancient times, man. You know, and, and, and there's nothing new under the sun. The things that were written before time were written for our learning, and, and hey, everything's going to come back around. You know, cannibalism's coming back around during this famine that's that's supposed to uh, um, hit. You got that real quick? Is Isaiah 65 and uh, 12? Or uh, is it 65 Isaiah and 13? 65 verse, uh, verse, uh, uh, verse 12. Their foe will I number to the sword, and they shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, he did not answer. Mm -hmm. When I spake, he did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. You know, that's exactly what it is, right? It's because uh, when all have recluse, guess what? The Lord is right now is calling. How is the Lord is calling? The Lord is calling 
to the prophets. The prophets pretty much are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Hashim and Shai when we're calling our people to repentance. But our, the vast majority of our people, they they lack vision. They yeah. like uh, they they can see what's about to come, right? Take place, and yeah. the scripture says, uh, where there was no vision, the people perish. So pretty much the the, the lack of vision gonna pretty much lead them to death man and that's exactly what it is and ultimately they don't have faith because if they had faith they would they would see that the lord yahweh shimshai is giving them a way out but they, they can see it you know that's right and it says uh matter of fact it says uh isaiah 65 verse 12 therefore will i number it to the soil so that's exa that's exactly that's the ultimate goal because right now the lord is, is showing your way since you refuse to take the way guess what guess what the lord has nothing to do with you but to put you to death man. yeah that's what could be martial law it could be military troops mm -hmm. you being brought into fema camps being beheaded it could be also a, a pestilence a disease uh the famine these are all ways that can get you man yeah you know we reside into cannibalism man all that man this is that sword that sword is a killing instrument mm. so it's going to be death on the streets man death in this world man because ultimately the lord is furious with this place you know you know the lord has his servants the prophets given that warning and the prophet's job was to give warning before the the, the uh, mm -hmm. upcoming de destruction hits man yeah, so, uh, but did evil be before my eyes and they choose that wherein i delighted not this is uh, for my people are foolish mm -hmm. they have not known me they are wise to do evil but to the good, they have no knowledge. That's, that's, right. that's pretty much the characteristic. That's how the Lord defines our people. Or hard headed, stiff legged people, man. That's right. You they would hear the warning and they still choose to sin. Still choose to commit a, a, a iniquity after iniquity in front of the, a, the eyes of the Lord. Well, that means you're just being mocked. You know? You're uh, being mocked for, for judgment. That's man. right. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power, behold, my servant shall eat. But she shall be hungry. Mm -hmm. My my servant shall drink. But she shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. But she shall be ashamed. And that's the point right there. Because when I read in Job uh, five and uh, nineteen or uh, twenty, he said, "Well, it says the six. You know that he should deliver thee in six troubles. Mm -hmm. You know when the Lord said in the famine he shall redeem thee from death. You know pretty much he's he's making a promise or a covenant. You know a contract with the with the elect that he's gonna don't worry, have faith that." When all hell breaks loose, there's nothing to eat. The Lord's gonna provide a way for you to eat, man, mm -hmm. and not, you know, three uh, meals a day, or you know, you ain't gonna get the the fine, you know, five star type of dining. But mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to. The Lord's gonna be able to provide for you to sustain to 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 keep on moving. And there's many accounts, you know, with uh, in Bell and the Dragon, how the Lord had the angel sent Habakkuk up to deliver food or pottage to uh, uh, Daniel in the in the lion's den. You know, there's been plenty of uh, accounts in the Bible how the Lord fed his uh, his, his his people, man. Yeah, you know, uh, if I'm here, right, the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's right. He is, we sure he should come. So the same act that he did in the past, guess what? The same things can happen in our lifetime. That's right, bro. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Continue reading, bro. You still got Isaiah? Isaiah, yeah. Yeah, 65. Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah 65. Oh, verse 13, right? Because because there's go. there's gonna be people that's gonna see the fact that when all hell breaks loose, there's gonna be a, the elect be actually rejoicing and actually being taken care of. They're gonna have a different type of a mentality. A, a mentality mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, they're gonna have composure. They're gonna be mm -hmm. stable, stable at the time. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be other group of people that's gonna be panicking. They're gonna be uh, in in dire straits. So, you know, this is the balance of the Lord. You want to continue uh, reading that? Read uh, that again from... Uh, uh, 13. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, Behold, my servant shall eat, That's but right. he shall be hungry. That's right. Behold, my servant shall drink, but she shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but she shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but she shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Mm, and that's the point. Uh, the elect are gonna, in these times to come when destruction's hitting, they're gonna be rejoicing mm. and, and happy because they know it's the transition of power. Mm. Soon is the kingdom of heaven. Soon the Lord is gonna come back and deliver the elect. Mm. But then the, the 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 opposite side are gonna be in anguish, not comfortable, not stable because they have no foundation. They have no faith in the Lord. They're mm. just all they known is this world that uh, Esau has presented it to them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They know nothing but uh, McDonald's and and going clubbing and working nine to five, not you know, just being a slave like mentality. Yeah. So that's why they're gonna trust in their oppressor to try to make things 
uh, are great again or make things come back to normal. But when that destruction come, this is it, man. It's the it's the downfall of this place. And those that don't want to seek the Lord, the Israelites, that you want to put your trust in your oppressors, hey, you are going to be the one that's going to be in, in sorrows, in pain, in anguish, in gnashing of teeth, man. Mm. Come. That's right. I got, I got mm -hmm. a precept. Second Ezra's chapter... Let's lock it in. Let me just get it real quick. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 26. As for the servants who I have given thee, there shall none of them perish. That, Shalaki, let me read that again. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, mm -hmm. for I will require them from among thy number. Mm -hmm. Be not wary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said the Lord. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. See, yeah. that's it. Oh, Salah, you got to speak on it, bro. Speak on it. It says, uh, I, for the servant whom thou hast given me, you know, uh, the elect was handpicked by Yahweh, and he gave the mother to Yahweh Shai. So the elect, when all have were close, that's what all all the elect going to be accounted for. They are going to be uh, 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 under the, the wing of Yahweh Shai. They, mm -hmm. they are all going to be covered, you know what I'm saying? So I, for the servant whom thou hast given me, thou shall none of them perish, for thou required them among thy numbers. So the elect going to be all accounted for, you that's know? Right. It says, uh, it said, be not weary mm -hmm. for the day of trouble. Mm -hmm. And heaviness cometh. That's why right. the others shall weep and be sorrowful. That's why right. thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So ultimately, when all have recruits, the hopefully elect, the elect of Yahweh Shai, they're not gonna be in in like like a, they're not gonna be running around like a chicken with a head cut off. You know, they're gonna be stable. They're gonna know what to do. They're gonna know what time it is, man. And they're gonna uh, put the trust, the hope in Yahweh Shai because they're gonna know that he's the one that brings forth the the plague destruction. So and by default, he's gonna be the one that's gonna get them out of it. You know? Yeah, and it says the heathen shall envy thee mm -hmm. but they shall not be able to do nothing against thee said the lord yeah because like when people see are gonna see how we're going to be stable how we're going to move they're gonna feel like oh shit what what do these men have uh what do they have to what do they have to do to be like this you know what i'm saying right. let's let's see if we can pretty much do uh uh get with them uh was at zachariah we have heard the lord was with you yeah come so they're gonna they're gonna pretty much seek to be around you they're gonna yeah. seek to 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 get involved what you have involved into even to even though they're gonna try to see also they're gonna have even try to see pretty much to hurt you know that's right you know? it said the heathen shall envy thee because they're the heathen also is the other nations but even two-thirds of our people, people are going right. to be accounted as heathen that's they're right. going to be an envious like damn the lord uh, is not for me they're going to realize that they don't have a chance because they you know they didn't they didn't take their time to seek the lord mm -hmm. you know and these other nations they're going to be uh, even envying the jake because you know they 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 think that the Lord loves everybody. You know, they've been lied to, thinking that the Lord's going to come and deliver everyone in the rap, so-called rapture. But then they're going to only see that it's, uh, the, the with the world counted as undesirable, the bottom of the barrel, the so-called Neos, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're going to be like, oh, these are the men, pretty much? Like, what is it, Wisdom is this, and Solomon? Is this Five? he whom we have in derision? Yeah, yeah. So they're going to be in envy for those. Like, damn, these guys are the ones that are counted as the children of heaven? The children of the uh, Heavenly Father? You know, so th it just proves that that this is this this um salvation this word is not for everybody man that's right you know and that's there's right. also going to be a time while when, when all hell breaks loose a people mourning and and going through sorrows and crying and there's going to be a group of people that's actually in laughter enjoying the fact that this is happening because that means the new kingdom and new heavens mm -hmm. is going to be established man uh, so second Ezra chapter 9 uh verse uh verse 9 then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, mm -hmm. and they that have cast away despitefully shall dwell in torment. That's right. You know, for such as in the lifetime, uh, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and that and they that have loaded my law while they yet had liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. Wow, that's beautiful. You know, because like right now, we like we went over it earlier, right? Or oh, people, the Lord is giving our people a way out, man. You know, they, but, but they have liberty. You know, they, they don't want to take heed. They don't want to uh, follow the uh, Yahweh Hashem You know, that's so right. when all have been closed, guess what? The Lord's not going to uh, 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 look out for you, man. Yeah, can you, you know? give me a quick favor? Go, um, search up loads. Uh, you want to speak on it? Yeah. Yeah, Khan. Uh, what was that? Second Ezra is nine? Nine, yeah, nine. Nine and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, nine. 
Come on, I'll read it again real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Second Ezra is nine and eleven. My file start again at nine. They then shall they be in pitiful case, mm -hmm. which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, mm -hmm. for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, liberty, and when as and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Want to go to the definition of loathe? It says, uh, unwilling to do something contrary to one's way of thinking. That's right. And that's just two-thirds of our people, man, not willing to get right. Whether they hear this warning, you know, they whether they, they walk by the prophets on the uh, on the highways and hedges, what or even is. clicked on the link on the YouTube page and just and just despise hearing the words of your heavenly Father, which is of righteousness, which is of peace and life in heaven. You know, they despise it and they they not willing to get right, man. Mm -hmm. That means you you didn't well you didn't put a, a effort. To, to fight for the Lord yeah. And as we started Or we read earlier You know It says Fight unto the Lord Unto death I mean uh, Strive for the truth Unto death And the Lord shall fight for thee Why would the Lord Fight for a person That loathed his law And despised his ways mm -hmm. You know And this is why You're gonna feel As the scripture says Then shall and mm -hmm. then the same shall know it after death by pain. They're going to realize, like, damn, I had an opportunity to get right. They, the Lord sent his servants to prophets to warn me, and I didn't listen. I didn't take heed. And this is why you're being brought down to the slaughter, because you had a chance to get right, but you choose not to. Huh? Yeah, because they with what's, they with what's going on right now, they with the wickedness. You know, they don't mm -hmm. want to get right. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, why would the Lord deliver you if you with what's going on right now? That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you, you're going to uh, uh, reap what you saw, man, just because you with what's going on. You're gonna receive the same judgment with the people that's that's pretty much uh, uh, doing the same thing that yeah. you're doing. And when all hell comes uh, comes to pass, and that, that's why Ezekiel 33 and 33 is gonna come to uh, uh, pass. You know, then they shall know that a prophet has been bef before them, um, what, because you know the Lord. Has his servants pretty much speaking for him, giving that warning, telling you what times has happened. The days of trouble is going to happen. It's time to get right and repent and seek the Lord while he may be found. But our people are, like the brother mentioned, as the scripture says, our, our people are hard-headed, stiff-necked, impudent children, man. They can't get right. And they want to wait till the last moment in, in life to try to seek the Lord. You know, when they're on their deathbed or when they finally get in a sickness, you know, or some tribulation happened or they're going broke or they have a court date, then mm -hmm. they want to seek the Lord. But when we're telling you when all hell breaks loose, hey, that's that, when that door of mercy uh, closes, hey, there's no waiting until the last minute, man. Mm -hmm. This is why it says, seek him while he may be found, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This is uh, uh, St. John 15, verse 22. If I had not come, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not been, they had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sins. So yes, pretty sir. much the Lord uh, going to be justified when he bring out the plagues. Why? Because the Lord have been serving the prophets on the scene, telling you to get right, to be mm -hmm. ready, to, to get your act together. But if you refuse to take heed, right? Yeah. So when the Lord uh, bring the destruction, he's going to be justified, man. You, right. You're not going to have any excuse, man, when, when all hell break loose. You can't say you didn't know. You're going to be held accountable for your action because mm -hmm. you know you know better. That's right. In the, in and the, you lack faith. In, in the other thing in the world, right? If you know better, you do better. So people, you know better. Why? Because the, the word of the Lord is being spoken unto you by the prophets, but you refuse to take heed, man. That's mm -hmm. right. And it ultimately goes back to the lesson where you see on the image, man, faith. The Lord has set up a... Uh, 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 a separate amount of people, a group of people from the Israelites, so the elect, you know, we pray we're part of that, to have that faith, that knowledge, that wisdom and understanding to keep us stable in the days of trouble, man. And those other people, the other uh, portion, you know, two thirds of our people and these heathens, well, ultimately, you know, faith was not given unto them, you know, and that's why they're going to feel the, the plagues, the destructions, the sorrows, man. But uh, again, this is just, uh, you know, a little lesson to, to pretty much build us up because we, we going into the destruction and uh, the judgment of, of people without faith but it's also the scriptures that you know there's a balance those that have faith and, and, and endure until the end the Lord shall give them a crown of life man that's right I got second Ezra 16 I'll just go straight to the point verse 74 hear O ye my beloved said the Lord behold the days are of trouble are at hand but I will deliver you from the same be ye not Afraid neither doubt for the for Yahweh is your guide and a guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts said the Lord Yahweh let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift them up so this is again he's talking to his beloved those are the elect 
You know, be uh, not afraid when the days of trouble will come, man. To have faith. And again, that faith is going to uh, be very valuable in these latter days, man. That That is the gold. That is the treasure, man. Yeah. As, as in that wisdom and knowledge, man. You know, the Lord is going to guide you. He's going to protect you. He's going to fight for you. He's going to have his angels. He's going to have his wings covering you when famine, destruction, death, plagues, pestilence. You know, martial law, even them thermonuclear missiles, as we know in Peter's, it says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So just having faith in the Lord, you know, we just endure, endure until the end, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Um, so Ephesians 2 verse 8, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself, but it is a gift from the Most So there's That's nothing right. you can do to gain faith. I mean, faith is a gift freely given by Yahweh Hashem and toward Yahweh Hashem Shai for give us the gift of faith. You know, for us to be here, for us to pretty much see what's going on, for us to put our trust in Him, you know what I'm saying? That's right. And that's exactly what it is. So, in like we said before, when all Hebrew close, man, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, man. And faith is precious. And, that's right. Like, uh, in, in, in again, man, it, it's, a, it's a blessing for the Lord Yahweh Hashem shall allow us to pretty much take part in this beautiful ministry, you know what I'm saying? So, we ask Yahweh Hashem Shai to keep us in this thing till the end, you know? That's right. Um, what's that, like, uh, Faith as a mustard, mustard seed. Mustard seed, that's in Matthew Gospel. Matthew 13. Yeah, that's in Matthew 13, chapter 4. Yeah, so, you know, pretty much, as the scripture says, I mean, if we don't have it. Uh, be, Matthew 13, verse, uh, verse, uh, verse 31. Come. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, this uh in Yahweh Shai's Matthew, Matthew 7, sin verse 20. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if, if ye have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, we move hence to yonder place, and it shall move, we move, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. And that's, man, we can end it on that, man. You can see that, the, you know, in this image is a little mountain, and faith, man. So faith as a mustard seed, you can move mountains, man. And the Lord will protect you just ultimately with that faith, man. And that's ultimately the uh, the lesson at hand. The days of trouble is coming, Jacob's trouble. All hell is going to break loose. And you Israelites have to have faith and trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because that's the only way out, man. So with that, man, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the Akim that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad, the the the, the, uh, the, the House of David. And with that, we want to say shalom. shalom.